Hello everyone, we will continue our sample project requirement or case study requirement for sales order. And in the previous videos, yes, we understood the various processes in terms of business requirement document, functional specification, technical specification. We found out the relationship between the tables now we will start with the development we will start with the coding now now we will go for a real project requirement so we will go in a way that yes we will develop in the development system and in yes it will go to quality and production also after that and you all know whenever you want to send the objects from one system to another system always always you can send through transport request so we will take in such a way that this is real project and we are working in a real project itself so firstly i will create a transport request then we all know what is the transaction code to create a transport request sc09 i will click on to create button and yes i will create a workbench request because our program is a workbench object our program smart form adobe form whatever we will create all those are workbench object. So I will create a workbench request. Now, whenever we will create anything, we will always, always refer the instruction document. Just see, what is the naming convention for the transport request description? I will give project requirement description. So suppose I will give the short description as sample project for sales order. In the project also make a practice. You will always, always give a meaningful description to the transport request. I will go for save. And you can see one transport request generation. I will save everything for this particular development into this transport request only. Now, next thing comes on to package. Now, what is package? A package is a container for the object. Means whatever the objects I will create, I will store into the package. Now, in the projects, yes, just ask with your supervisor, yes, do you need to use the existing package or do you need to create a new package? This is the most, most common mistake from the fresher, especially. They will always, always create a new package. It's a simple thing. Package is a container for the object. In one package, you can store any number of objects. So if package is already available, check that. Can you use that existing package? Yes. If they are saying no, you need to create a new package because it is we will store everything for that development into that package. Only in that case, create a new package. Else, you should always, always use the existing package. But we will go for a perception that we will create a new package so that everything for this particular development is in that particular object, or is, is in that particular package. Whatever we will develop related to this development, it will be in that particular package. Yes, we need to always create a transport request, but package is one time activity. Yes, next time you need to use the existing package in the projects. Yes, but yes, here we will create a new package also. 
So what I will do? I will go to SC for I will go to SC80 transaction code. Or we can create package through SC21 also. No problem. If you want to go to SC21, we can go to SC21 also. Now we all know whenever we are creating anything, the first, first word, first letter should be Z or Y. Again, I will see the instruction document ZPKG underscore relevant name. Suppose I will give ZPKG underscore suppose sales. I will give sales ORD. So I gave the naming convention. I followed the naming convention. I will click on to create button. I will give the short description. Suppose I will say package for sales order project requirement, sales order requirement. Now, this is the most common mistake. Just check for the transport layer and always pass the transport layer, which is starting with Z, which is starting with Z. You will always, always find two transport layer. One with SAP, which is for SAP specific object. One will start with Z, Z. So take that particular transport layer. Anyways, it will appear by default. But if it is not appearing by default, choose the transport layer, transport layer carefully. We'll go for OK. Now, Never, never blindly click on to OK button. Click on to own request button and choose the transport request which you created. Because if you will put blindly enter, your objects will go into something else. Some uh, your object might go into other transport request. But yes, we are going for a perception that Whatever we are developing, we will store into this transport request. So I will choose this transport request, which I created. I will go for OK. You can see description is coming. Sample project for sales order. It means I am choosing the right transport request. So our package is ready. If I will click on to this OK button, you can see our package is ready. As of now, package is blank because there's nothing I have stored into the package. Now, if I will show you my transport request, if I will refresh the transport request, my package will be the part of this transport request because I created the package for the first time. So I stored in the transport request. Next time, I will not create a new package. I will use the existing package. That's why I told you always check in the project. Do you need to create a new package or can you use the existing package? Because package is a container. We can store any number of objects into that package. Now, so our package is ready. Transport request is ready. Now, can we start with our program? Yes, we will start with our report. We will start with our program. And yes, we need to execute the program. So I will create a executable program. I will go to SC38 transaction code. Now again, we will follow the instruction document. What is the naming convention for the program? ZPRG underscore relevant name. So I will write ZPRG sales report service. Now I will go for create. Give the meaningful title always because that title will be visible to the customer. 
So always, always give a meaningful title. So you can write sales order report. Now, I will take the type as executable program because we will execute the program, save. Now, I will not save as a local object because local object will not go to other system and we are going for a perception that this is real project work. So, whatever we are developing, it should go to quality. It should go to production so that customer can use. So I will store into the package which I created. So I will pass the package name which I created. This is the package which I created. Now I store into my own package. Now it is asking for transport request. Anyways, right transport request is coming. I can predict by description, but you should always, always make yourself sure by clicking on to own request button. You will get so many transport requests. If you have, if you create multiple transport requests, then now I'm choosing that transport request. Now I will simply, simply activate the program. Now we will see the input to the program. If you see, we have two input to the program. What is first input? Creation date. What is second input? Created by. And it is clearly, clearly mentioned. We will not go for parameter. It means compulsory. We will go for select option. So now I will go for the select option. So I will simply, simply take two select option, one for the creation date and one for the created by. So I will write select option. How I can put it on the editor? Tab. Now, Again, please follow the instruction document which is mentioned and it is clearly mentioned that parameter P underscore select option S underscore. Suppose I will write S underscore ER dat. S underscore ER dat. Because if you check the VBAK table, Always open the table in a parallel session. It will make your task easy. Copy paste will be easy. This is our VBAK table. ER dat. Okay. ER dat is for creation date. It is mentioned in the functional specification also. So I will simply write what is the keyword for the select option? Four. I am writing. LV underscore ER tag. How we can end a line through dot or period. Control D, shortcut to duplicate a line. What is the second thing? Second thing is created by, which is VBAK ER num column. So I will simply write S underscore ER num four. LV underscore ER num. Now I will get two syntax error because I am using these two variables, but I have not declared these variables again. Have you seen? I followed the conventions for the variable also. LV means local variable. Yes, if you in this document, I will declare the naming convention for variable also. Now I will declare the variable data. LV underscore ER dat type. Type is a keyword. And what is the data element for ER dat? This is the data element for ER dat. Now control D to shortcut to duplicate a line. LV underscore ER num. 
and what is the data element for er num er num now never forget to apply pretty printer check the syntax and activate the program now i will simply run up to this level so i will go for test you can see s underscore er dat s underscore er num but end user understand this end user will never never understand this so how we need to do we need to give the proper descriptions so i will go for go to text element selection text i will choose ddic reference ddic reference i will activate and this thing created on and created by is coming from data elements if i will run and show you created on created by these are coming from data elements just see s underscore er dat is for this variable this variable is of this type this data element if i will see the field label created on that's why it is coming if i will see this er num er num created by that's why it is coming now if you see these two select option see lv underscore er dat is of this data element has a type of this data element this data element has a domain of dax8 this variable is of dax8 this select option is for this variable it means this select option is what dax8 if you see lv underscore er num is referring to this data element er num character 12 so this lv er num is for this this s underscore er num select option is for this variable this variable is character 12 character 12 it means this select option is what character 12 this is how it is working now if i will run you can simply see we are getting the expected result 